Snes Drunk. Welcome to yet another Snes Drunk video featuring Super Famicom games exclusive to Japan that are still playable today even if you don't speak or understand Japanese. If you missed part 1, click here. If you missed part 2, click here. No, really, if you, if you haven't seen those, those two videos have most of the really good games, so uh, you might want to watch those too. Alright, let's go. There are a few Disney games that never made it over to the US, first of which is Mickey no Tokyo Disneyland Daiboken. There's some interesting gameplay mechanics going on here. Mickey has a tank on his back that he uses to fill balloons with either water or helium gas, water balloons to hurl at enemies, and gas to float and zing around the area. It's tricky to get used to and kinda clunky at times, but it's an alright game. Mickey to Donald Magical Adventure 3 is a sequel to Mickey's Magical Quest and The Great Circus Mystery. The artwork here is kind of, um, odd. Mickey and Donald's eyes are just kind of unsettling. Otherwise, this is a fine game, especially good for multiplayer. And the controls respond as well as you'd expect from a Capcom Disney game. Last for Disney, there's Donald Duck no Maho no Boshi. This game does an excellent job maintaining the classic Disney character design and animation. The artwork and movement here is really well done, and the game itself is pretty good. Although some of the platforming tasks are kind of mundane, like washing windows and delivering mail. The Amazing Spider-Man Lethal Foes is another great looking game with sharp colors and fluid animation, although it reminds me of the first Mickey game in this video where the controls are awkward and take some getting used to. Thankfully this game is really easy, so you've got plenty of time to adjust. Next there's The Fireman, which was released in Japan and Europe but not the United States. This game is very literally a firefighting game where you put out fires and rescue people, imagine that. The top-down view lends itself well to the gameplay. It seems kind of easy on the surface, but it can get tricky. The fire can be pretty unpredictable. But yeah, this game is addicting just to see how far you can get. Next there's Gone, where you play as a pissed off little dinosaur guy. The controls are tight and responsive, and it reminds me of Plock in that manner. And the art style, of course, is reminiscent of Joe and Mac. The game is pretty dang tough though, so be forewarned. Ghost Sweeper Mikami, Jiraishi wa Nice Body, has some really sharp looking graphics in this game, some of the best on the Super Famicom. You only have one primary attack, so the gameplay focuses mostly on movement and dodging stuff. Oh, and a cutesy story, of course. Sandra no Daiboken, Valkyrie to no Dei, was released in Europe as Wurlo. This platformer, on the other hand, you get a variety of attacks that are a lot of fun to play around with, but on the other hand, one hit deaths. That's a bummer. Solid game, though. For beat-em-ups, there's the Great Battle series, particularly Great Battle 3. The SD art style here is pretty amusing for a beat-em-up, and this game is solid and entertaining, pretty easy to breeze through in like an hour. UFO Kamen Yaki Soban Kettler no Kurai Inbo is a game that's apparently based off of a series of Japanese commercials for instant noodles. No, seriously, look it up. In fact, that red hockey puck thing on his head is actually a package of UFO noodles. Only in Japan, right? Anyway, this game is decent enough. Only five stages, but it's got some laughs. Next there's Cayman Rider. This one is just plain different from other 16-bit beat-em-ups. It just looks different aesthetically, and the music is kind of goofy. You're just some regular looking dude. Oh, but wait! Oh shit, it's on now. Yeah, this game is pretty entertaining. For a fighting game, there is Yu Yu Hakusho Tokubetsuhen. A really interesting twist on the usual fighting game, both in the display and presentation and the strategy. It's a little bit like Tecmo Bowl, where you have to anticipate what the other player is going to do, and you either call for an attack or a defense. It's really well done, and the special moves look amazing. For shoot 'em ups, there's Poppin' Twin B, a vertical shooter that was released in Europe but not the US. This is a quality game because you're able to control what power ups you obtain by shooting these bells to switch the color. I always like having that kind of control, and this is a very good multiplayer game as well. Martian Adventure Cotton 100% is a pretty standard horizontal shooter, with some sharp looking anime style artwork. This game is really easy for a shoot 'em up though, but it's still a fun playthrough. For puzzle games, there's Spark World. Pretty much a Super Bomberman clone, except your cars with batteries and electrical sparks or something. And like Super Bomberman, it can be played by up to four players. There's also Pikinia, your typical falling block puzzle game, only this time with penguins. Okay. There's a lot of different modes in multiplayer as well, so this is a solid game. For racing games, I want to thank some of you guys for pointing out some that were available, because I had a hell of a time finding some. I did find four that I thought were pretty good. There's SD F1 Grand Prix, which is basically a Mario Kart clone, but with super deformed anime style artwork and all sorts of neat little touches here and there. It's a lot of fun and there's a wide variety of items available on the track to blow stuff up. 
Hashiria Con Rider's Spirits is a bike racing game with kind of an odd idea where the top half of the screen are your side mirrors. Okay. I like this game, but the sound of the bike gets super annoying after a while. But it's worth a shot. Cat's Run is closer to arcade style racing, although you do get items here and there to run your opponents off the track. I like the face at the bottom, not like you can see it because you're busy driving, but it <laughs> makes me laugh when I see it. Again, it's a solid arcade style racer. If you're sick of cars, carts, and bikes, there's Waku Waku Ski Wonder Spur, where you race on skis or a snowboard and fight to the death to the finish. Very nice. Okay, that's it for now. Yeah, sorry, only 20 games this time, but I've got plans for a bigger video later on, so stick around for that. Thanks for watching as always, and have a great rest of your day.